Yeah, they have hot slow. So, hey, let's get this thing started. Uh, we'll start with the pledge. There's a couple of NBA flags in the board over there. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Carter. Mazur, Riley, Here. Schneider, Here. Sofa, Here. Stoops, Here. Wilson. Here. Um, do we have any non-agenda items from the sidelines? Okay. Um, city administration, uh, I have nothing myself. And you know, okay. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I want to know if we can expand, um, expand the burning time because I keep getting phone calls. A lot of people didn't even know what was that. So uh, why don't we put that under new business? Six. Number six. Problem with that, Justin? Oh. You need a motion, right? Uh, we'll cover For the agenda. agenda. Is that up for the agenda? Yeah. Motion to adopt. Love it. Support. Was that called? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martin? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, approval of the minutes from May 5th, 2020, and uh, the special budget meeting of May 27th, 2020. in electronic wire transfers of $9,154.52. I'll make a motion to approve the May Disbursements Report, $76,563.72, and electronic wire transfers of $9,154.52. Support. Second. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. <coughs> Martyr? Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Uh, can I get a motion to put communications on the file? Make that motion. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. <coughs> so, um, I'm sure you both have this in front of you. Um, where the uh, the where the doghouse is, is it Dossie? Yes, sir. Of the safety plan area. Um, we are planning on creating a common area that would allow outdoor seating between our properties at Sage Creek Winery and the doghouse restaurant. We have an attached diagram with that. We are planning on creating decorative berms uh, in both front and back of the current alley, which will eliminate, eliminate drive through alley. Uh, again, we got a diagram. In addition, by closing off the alley, this will create additional parking spaces both north and south of the alley and the south side of the alley. Okay. Um, it is our hope that this will create space both beneficial to not only our businesses but to Memphis and surrounding, but Memphis and surrounding areas by having something unique in the downtown area. Um, with that, Tammy, I'll turn this over to you. Um, yeah, so we have uh, been in communications to, uh, I knew that they wanted to do an outdoor patio uh, somewhere around their building and once we started looking at it and realized that we own the property between ours, we thought it would be beneficial to have an outdoor area that both their customers and my customers could coexist. Um, it does have to be separated for our liquor licenses, but 
Uh, it just has to be a visual, visual, visual barrier to delineate their side and our side um, for the liquor licenses. But we would like to see it as it would provide a lot of uh, outdoor seating, uh, especially in the summer months. Um, we get venues out there and it would increase uh, <coughs> the traffic down to Memphis downtown areas. No one around this area has anything that would be like that. Uh, the Burns would have trees, um, uh, shrubbery. So we want to really make this a, a kind of unique, very decorative area that would be very pleasing to look at, comfortable to sit at, um, and for all of our customers to kind of enjoy the outdoors. So looking at this, you're going to extend your stamp concrete that you have yes. out, and then you're going to put, per se, a, a lean to off of the side of the building. Yes, it'll be a veranda. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so they would add a, under the veranda, they would add doors that would come out so that you could enter into Sage Creek and um, underneath the veranda. Will there, will there be a gate or a doorway between your stamp concrete and that would be kind of go through between you both? Yep. Sure. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Is it, that it, it'll be, it'll be, you can tell that that's their side and our side, but you can, you can still go between the them. Line. Is that where the property line is basically? You guys pretty much right to the middle of that? To the, the, the um, telephone pole? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just for your own edification, in case you don't know, there, there is a sewer uh, line on there, but that won't be affected because if you notice where the uh, manhole is, mm -hmm. that actually goes south. And that ends there and goes south, so that wouldn't be affected. There is a, um, uh, <coughs> a, a water main that goes through there, and it's a, approximately 20 feet out from Sage Creek. And uh, Bart and I went over to look at it the other day and along and discussed it with uh, both Tammy and uh, Je is it Jeff. Jeff? Yeah. 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 And, and it is all marked there too. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's marked. And the only, only, and the only concern we had was with the, the posts that go down to support whatever it's kind of more, more towards Sage Creek and not directly over there. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Not sure over. Sure you're yep. really stuck. I think that's the only reason that Right, and that's just with the understanding too, because we do have the water line over there. If there's a problem, you're going to have a lot of damage. Right? Well, but that is one of our newer water lines going through there. Yeah, that so. was put in in '91, so as water mains go, that's relatively new. Do, do you guys, is this something that maybe should go to planning? I mean, you're the planning. Is it, well, they own the properties. It's their property. Yeah. It's their properties. I. Really, I don't know that, do we need to make a motion on any of this? Because it is their property to what they want to do with it. Well, you may, you well you're closing down now. Yeah. yeah. But it's not a city property. No, no. So, yeah, we have to make a motion to approve it. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, are we done talking about it? What's that? Are we done talking about it? I think so. I'll make a motion to, to approve uh, this, this project. Uh, before we go any further, I do want to say, is this something you're planning on doing all at once? Or are you going to like start with one thing and then Kind of go forward, or is it going to be over pretty quickly? Or is this going to be? It all should summer? be fairly quickly once they can get going. The concrete's going to be first, um, and then we have one contractor who's working with a, he's doing stamp concrete, um, and then he's also working with the veranda builders. Good enough. Yeah, so I just wondered. If yeah. Well, and it's one of those things too is that when you start on this, I mean, you're going to put some sort of barricading up. Absolutely. To let everybody know that they can't go through there anymore. Right. Because I know there's and what we'll probably start with, as the, they're mapping out the concrete, is building the berms, because that will That's just that stop people from going right. through. I mean, even if you just throw up one of those orange snow fences to start with and with yeah. signage on it, you know, because I'm, I'm sure it's there about Yeah, okay. uh, I will support it. I would appreciate if you check with Bart, make sure those posts are working. Oh, absolutely. Right. Okay. Is, is there any way you can utilize it in the cold weather? Have you thought of anything? Yes, ma'am. For, for our side, we're going to have uh, okay. igloos underneath our veranda. Oh, <laughs> oh. I was going to save your money, Tammy. You might want to find some, uh, put some secure spots that would be able to support a tent. Uh, Fire pit. If you want to. Mm -hmm. Temporary. Okay. 
Yeah. And, you know, we're support. looking at in the future to do nice seating support. out there oh. and then having the little heaters, the stand up heaters, so that we can extend it out, open it earlier in the spring and keep it open later in the, the fall. The biggest concern for both of you would be um, drainage, which way water is going to drain, and once snow season comes, plowing. And well, where, where the we'll have to shovel it, so. Well, I mean, I mean on the outer edges of it, but yeah. where it's going to be is where the snow's going to get piled up. Right. Hey, Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Marder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Come up. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I guess I should have done this with the agenda, but we need to uh, table number I1, because it's not done. Okay. Motion to the table. Uh, introduction of marijuana ordinance. Support board. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. And just update you guys on that, just so you know, I did get it back from uh, Alan Francis. <coughs> it's not complete. He doesn't have the numbers in yet. He did change quite a bit of stuff in there. I uh, actually took a lot out and made it a little bit simpler. But it's moving along. We should have it by the next meeting for sure. Uh, okay, new business, DPW. Uh, we're looking at wanting to purchase a, uh, a new truck. The one that we have is kind of old and beat up, and um, Bart's looked at buying the 2020 uh, Ford F 250. Uh, and uh, that would come with a plow. And the total price is $33,551. And to me, for a new truck with a plow like that, I, it seems like he's found a pretty good price on this thing. So, uh, yeah, I, I read, I've been reading that they're way behind on uh, yeah, uh, all these trucks. So oh, I'm getting it delivered? And yeah. Yeah. So, but, but anyway, yeah, uh, uh, we, we have to prove, we proved that our budget on it when we did the budget on 27. So it's right. a matter. Approving it before council. So, so I'll make a motion. Okay, I'll make a motion then that we uh, purchase the uh, two, 2024 Jeff Cooper <coughs> Toyota Cab 4x4 pickup, an 8 inch uh, box and white boss, a super duty steel snow plow for the total amount of $33,551. Support. Marder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. All right. Next up, I'm looking for the total on this invoice. $7,690. Oh, okay, yes. I found it. Okay, so uh, the fire department. Um, which truck was this at? Um, one of the big ones, engine two, if that means. Okay, I mean, I'm looking at the, the major parts in this thing, it's uh, spring work here. Yeah, so we did uh, some suspension work done on it, uh, front and rear suspension, replacing leaf springs. Yeah. If it was something we needed done, I just waited till the end of budget year to make sure that we were going to be okay here, so. All right, well, uh, could I get a motion to uh, pay the bill here for Seven thousand six hundred ninety dollars and ninety-seven cents. I make a motion. We are in our fire truck. Support. Mazur. Yes. Riley. Yes. Schneider. Yes. Sofa. Yes. Stoops. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Murder. Yes. Okay. Back to the CBBG fund. Um, City of Memphis must decide uh, by June 7, 2020, to either stay in the CBBG or opt out. Um, this is a note from Larry. I have included some memos that may help refresh your memory. We've worked at, uh, in the past and how it works now. As you know, recently we have not been successful in utilizing the funds. So we need to decide uh, if we're going to go in and we're going to stay in or opt out. Larry? Yeah, yeah uh, I think. Uh, you realize the history of this, uh, I've stated many, many times, like it's over the years. Uh, you know, way back we uh, collected 30, 35,000 uh, a year 
and we could have multi-year contracts. We could also, uh, we had, and most of, uh, in most cases, that we went towards our road. I think uh, since I've been on council 23 years, I think we've got over $600,000 somewhere in that area, and we were in it prior to me being on council. And, uh, and we could even uh, do a contract or do a road, and if the funding uh, 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 grants weren't sufficient, we could spend our own money on our roads and then get refunded uh, with the grant money. And it was so much, uh, so much, so much bigger. It was so much easier to work with. And uh, as you know, it, it was cut down to one time to seventy-five hundred dollars. I think currently it's about ten thousand. And uh, two projects, we tried to utilize those funds and spent uh, probably five to six thousand dollars on administrative costs. And as you know, one came in about three times what it should have been, and so we didn't do it. And the other one, we couldn't even get any bids on. So we have not been very successful uh, lately, and I don't think it's going to change. They, or we would be now. They have uh, changed. Uh, uh, what you can, how you, how it's handled. You can bid on projects, um, but uh, and, but you're subject to a, uh, 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 how they rate it by points. And uh, and I think I did make a copy in there on that. That, that, that copy that is quite that is there's a little more to it. It's a hundred points. Uh, if, and I'm reviewing those points. I think we had probably a very difficult time and probably be low in the scale. And the other is the uh, LMI, or low median income, or, or at one time I think we were over 50% uh, and, uh, and uh, now for some reason, I can't believe it's right, but we're down to 33% or something like that. And uh, that's another qualifying. And we don't qualify if it's under the criteria, though they did tell me that there's other things they do consider. But if you go by that scale, we'd be very on the low end. Um, I have mixed emotions about going in or going out, but I, di I just think uh, it's not working for us. So, um, and now, unless it changes you know, down the road, at the, the way it's set up now, it's not working. Even if we did bid on a, a, one of the contract, like a big contract, or what we wanted to do, we have to have the engineering done, we have to have all the realistic costs, and we have to have all of that done prior to submission because it has to be pointed in the right. So, so, so if we're going to submit something, we've got to be shovel ready. Right. Plus Bacon Davis. Plus Bacon Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This prevailing uh, Bacon Davis, prevailing wage. And what we found out, and, and the big contracts, big contractors will hold on it because they don't, they're familiar with doing that. Now these small jobs that we had and we quoted on, big contractors don't want them. And the small contractors won't deal with bacon dates for the, the paperwork. You have to dot your I's, cross your T's, and they're not familiar with it. So And it drives um, up the overall cost. Yeah, absolutely. The cost I, I would say here well, uh, that one project should have been under twenty thousand or twenty five thousand. It came in at sixty five thousand, which was completely and we only had one quota. Uh, so I have mixed emotion because it's, it, it may be something we might utilize, but I read these documents over. If we, and if we don't opt it out, we're automatically in, but it d did indicate, if I interpret it correctly, that if you could opt in for a year and stay in, like it's a three year kind of three years. And I think there's something into that effect. But I, uh, Reluctantly, I'm going to say we rec we, I'm recommending we opt out, but I, it's up to council as a whole. Yeah. I, I, it's just my feelings. Any other points? If it's something that's regarding like leg work, I'd be interested to take the project on if it's a yeah. having to go to the meetings and, and doing that stuff. It's, well, that's part of the problem. I, I would part of the leg work, work, though, is if you look at a project, you have to have engineering in place. You have yes, to have a lot in place. You have to have everything, like right. I said, pretty much shovel yes, ready. Spend a ton of money before you even know right. what you're going to get. Yeah, right. and, they, and, and it all has to be spent in one year, and it's only ten thousand. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah, yeah. Right. since it's so small now, you, it, it just hardly. Right. Right. You look. can't build it up. Now, right. I, I did inquire uh, a year or so ago, if you know, because the uh, community center, uh, where we had a vote to try to uh, 
you know, replace it, right, and it would it. fail. And uh, I asked him about certain projects in there, you know, like the back end, that, right. that should be completely remodeled so you have able to get in and out, both right. from the basement and the upper store. And I asked if that would qualify, and I didn't get very positive. They said probably not. And, uh, just uh, not an elevator might qualify. And we lost out on other grants because we were out. Well, yeah, that yeah, that, that was one we lost. We we lost out on that grant because we couldn't we couldn't be on to two. Uh, now that don't mean that other grant is out there now. It's not something could come up. Right. And so, yeah. So I did notice that it says it um if you opt out, this will end your contract participation with the twenty twenty program year. And then it says you would be eligible to apply to the state for funding or simply have no further connection. So is that you have to be over fifty thousand residents for that to apply to the state, or is that just any for anybody? You know, I, I can't answer that. Really. Right. I was just wondering. I mean, yeah. you know, if but I, I have to think. Uh, so Justin's volunteer, we can have him, uh, you know, yeah. apply to the state and uh, yeah. you know see what happens. Yeah. But I have no problem doing so. I mean, it's, it's the same thing we got to do with all our grants that we get. It's just so hard to do anything right. for ten thousand dollars and do it in one year. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. We used to be able to take thirty-three thousand dollars and save it for three years and pay the whole yeah. block of, of yeah, we science could do that. And then right. if, if in that say a hundred thousand dollars we accumulate, we could do it. And then if the project was one hundred and thirty thousand, we could still do it and take money out of our roads, uh, local or major, whatever street it was, yeah. and then get next year we could get refunded back it, it was so much easier to work with right. and uh, of course it's federal government you know so uh, they got rules and regulations and matter of fact when we did that we did the offices with that money and uh we weren't meeting the prep the, the schedule Time properly lines. i was threatened that we would repay it right. i lost a few sleepless nights over that so so anyway, but that that's you know I I would be glad to give you this uh, some of this stuff here. Just some don't look at it. It's up to you. So, but uh, anyway, that, that's that's about all I can say. It's up to council. If council wants to stay in, I'll stay in. But you know, support. I just have one more question. Like, yes. Like it used to be thirty thousand. Yeah. If it goes back up to being that amount again, could you act back in? I think you could, well, you could not, definitely opt back in in three years. But I so think some of this, years. it looked like you could opt in if we had something come up a couple years from now and, and this didn't run out for three years or four years, whatever. We could, you know, probably opt in. But that's that when I was reading some of these documents, I'd, I'd have to inquire and get a yeah. definitive answer, but I, that's my interpretation. Well, I know one of the things when I went to the meeting that surprised me was they were mentioning that. I think it was in war they did a road and um, it ended up driving up the home values and Warren had to actually pay back the money. Well, see, the, the, the one I'm just saying that that's just the kind of thing that happens oh, in this program, which was, to me is, is dumb. I mean, if, you're, if the yeah. idea is to bring people out of, pro out of poverty, you spend the money, Put a beautiful road in yeah. the middle of a neighborhood that drives up the property and then they punish you by making you pay back the money. Well, we only had one road that was questionable, and that Correct. was Pratt Road. And we had to do actually a survey on Pratt Road. And we were, we were just under the, the 49 point, I uh, know, yeah, just over the 49.9 or whatever it was. That was like 20 and some years ago, right? Yeah, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. Yeah. But anyway, that, and we, we, but we actually had to do a survey um, because we may not have qualified, but that was the only, uh, the, uh, any of the other roads wasn't a problem. That's why I don't quite understand the rating but the, and the rate is, that is rated now 30, I think 33% or something like that on um, the LMI. Anyway, I, I, there was a, a mm -hmm. Okay, Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Now we, we'll have to write, uh, send them a letter or something by the 7th Okay. All right, next yeah. up, we amend our uh, budget for 2021. Larry? I, I don't know oh. any people for that, so. Okay, uh, no, was, I got, uh, uh, I worked on this over the weekend, and then Justin worked on it, and we sat down today, and we had, both of us came to the same 
basically the same figures. And uh, so uh, this, um, it, it, the reason for the, when we did our, our budget, we okayed the budget on the 27th. However, I think a day later, Richmond notified us that they wanted us to take the additional uh, territory uh, from school craft to uh, non I guess. School section. Right. Or school section. Oh, yeah. And so, uh, anyway, the budget, um, and, and we amended the budget, and uh, I'll give this to Don, she'll incorporate it into our budget uh, and uh, make those changes. That, uh, the, what'll change is the contract and the fire contracts and the equipment placement plan will change uh, in, the, in our budget. Um, so uh, what, it, what it does is uh, it actually increases Richmond Township uh, from the uh, budget from 27,656. It'll go up to 45,105. I, I think uh, wait, when you quoted him, it was 44,000 something. So it's up to what, five, four, five hundred? Yeah, it's 500 dollars and then with the letter. Yeah. So, so um, I, I have the uh, amendment here. I'll make that motion. Uh, this is for the discussion. If not, I'll make the motion. You don't have to write this down. I'll give, you, give it to you, Don. Okay. Motion to amend, amend the Memphis Fire Department budget for the fiscal year 2020-21 as follows. Because of an additional coverage area for the Richmond Township, the budget will increase from the total budget will increase from 219,520 to 236,709. Richmond Township from 27,656 to 45,105. The township fire contracts totally will be from 162,480 to 182,034. And I'll give you this. Yeah, this is part Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Mr. Mayor. Well, well, I think that, you, uh, have a, you have to do the... Yeah, so uh, contracts, contracts that are going to go off with this budget, you guys have in front of you a highlighted a portion of our contract. So currently our contract um, does not state anything in there regarding what I put in there in yellow. Um, and what I'd like to add is the city of Memphis will not be held financially responsible for any emergencies that take place within Blank Township, which includes hazmat situations, special technical rescue incidents that may take place within Blank Township. So Memphis Fire Department shall not respond nor be held, oh sorry, no, that's Richmond Townships. And then the other, the last part being, um, it'll be the responsibility of Blank Township to set forth burning regulations and issue burn permits within the townships. So that, what you have that, that removes us from having to issue burn permits. Let the townships do it on their own. Yes, yeah, so what you have in front of you is just, uh, I just use Columbus's, but that would go out to all of our townships, what's highlighted in there. Um, so two things in that, we've always issued burn permits. In the townships, we have no teeth regarding burn permits. So we don't- they did their own. No, we've always done it for, I don't know, 50 years. Oh, right. you had to call Riley. Yeah. And that's something that actually became an issue this year, so we've had an issue with this, the COVID-19 and the no burning statewide and, you know, agricultural, where they could burn, where they couldn't burn, and it turned into an issue. And, I mean, it ended up being handled. Right. But if we turn around and we turn the responsibility over to the townships themselves to issue the burn permits, that just takes us out of the loop. It takes us out of handling the paperwork. You know, the other thing that it does do is it eliminates us from knowing that a permit was issued, but that really, in the end, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Anyways. Um, if we get a call that uh, a neighbor's complaining about another neighbor burning, we go out and investigate it whether they have a permit or not, because we've got to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, it's, those burning permits are local ordinance driven, and we have we have no way of writing tickets in, in townships or issuing fines in townships. Um, the townships have cool enforcers that handle their enforcement stuff. I just much rather really have them handle it. We've got a whole harmless clause too. And then the other portion of it is currently right now, if we were to have, say, a person get trapped into a trench on, in Riley Township, 
we don't really have the equipment to be able to handle something like that. We call in a, a tech rescue team that either St. Clair County has or Macomb County has. And how, how those tech rescue teams uh, get reimbursed is they bill the municipality. So if the incident was to happen in Memphis, then we'd get the bill. But if it happens in Riley Township, the Memphis Fire Department's gonna get that bill and then have to provide it to Riley Township, we're gonna get stuck in the middle as it stands right now without this language. Adding this language would just kind of make us so that we're not physically financially responsible in the event we gotta call in a tech rescue team and it takes them four hours to, to do this rescue. It would go to the townships and not the city of Memphis. Just reading through the contract, we didn't have anything like that in there before. Uh, the mutual aid agreements that we signed, we signed them um, with the city of Memphis's name on, so that protects the city. It doesn't protect the townships that we uh, respond to. They have to, um, they have to sign those mutual aid agreements. I, I don't know if they have or not, but I just would much rather us not be held responsible for something that happens in their township. So let's back up. Did we uh, get a vote on the uh, the amendment on the budget? Uh, on um, which one? On the amendment of the budget. The, uh, on the budget, we did not on the contract. Okay, we did on the budget. Mm -hmm. And the contract, do we, need to, we don't even have it on here on the agenda right now. Do we need to vote on that? It would be a change in our contracts. This this language would go out to all the townships that we have. I don't know if it needs to be. I want to get to whoever's in charge of the park, we can do it in the content. I'm not sorry, yeah. Was there the head of the fire committee can do it in their comments make a motion to uh, change the contract? If you don't want to give it up, it's not on the agenda. Not pass me again. You gotta. <coughs> well, it gets the comments. You can make a motion. Yeah. Oh, to adopt the contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Adopt so, the language of your contract. All right. Okay. So, <coughs> moving on. The fire department the purchase of uh, two AEDs. Uh, yeah, I typed up the letter. You guys seen the letter? I attached the letter that we received from the manufacturer that we have our AEDs through. Basically, they are no longer supporting the AEDs that we have. Uh, we currently have four of them. Um, we replaced two of them with a grant that we received last year. We still have these two Model 500s left in our trucks. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and purchase two of these. The two you replaced are, are okay though, right? Yeah, so we bought, yeah. we had a total of four of yeah. these. We bought two of them with a grant last year. Mm -hmm. Now we'd like to replace the two older ones that yeah. we have as well. I asked Justin about this one, but he wasn't sure. That, I was going to say, was that one just updated last year? That's a Medtronic. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is Stryker. There's a ton of manufacturers out there on the 80s. <coughs> it would have to be a Stryker Life Pack 500. Okay. Can I get a motion to uh, let the fire department purchase three AEDs? So moved. Four. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Briley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. All right. Uh, last up, I'd like to extend the uh, the burning uh, of the local open burning till June 30th. So, I'll make a motion to extend the uh, open bar to June 30th. Support. Wilson? Yes. Carter? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Okay. Um, really, I, uh, I don't have a whole lot. I mean, I'm looking forward to getting a little bit more. Uh, Normality back in our lives here. Uh, hopefully, we get our businesses open back up and roll again. And that's about all I have, Eric. I know for sure. Larry? Yeah, uh, just uh, I, I think I briefly said that, um, mentioned on the, in the budget, when you did the budget, but our audit will probably be delayed significantly. Uh, they have not been able to do an audit uh, uh, at all, and I think. Uh, you know, like the municipalities that ended in March, I don't think they even, they haven't done, done none of those audits yet, is that correct? The ones that they do for the ones that end in March and that? They haven't done any. As far as I know, they haven't done no, any. They haven't done any. So, see, normally they're in here in July, and we, I haven't finished in probably September or something like that. 
Uh, so I don't know when you when you have that. I, it's, uh, they'll, they probably, once they can get back and begin to do audits, then they'll, they'll do them in the order they have. Yeah. <coughs> I think I'm reason we've playing catch up for a long time. That's right. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. It might even be the end of the year uh, before it's done, or maybe even in next I don't know. We just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to know because I like to know where you stand on some of this stuff in the Monday. I guess I'll have to do it. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to amend the language to the fire contract as per the memo presented by Chief Diet. Support. Sofa. Yes. Stoops. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Martyr. Yes. Macer. Yes. Ryan. Yes. Robbie? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Jason? I'm happy to hear that pretty soon we're going to have at least half capacity in some of our restaurants. So, um, pretty excited about that. Uh, is, how's that going to go? Mm -hmm. Just, I, I imagine the liquor control and the health department will be emailing me tons of crap. Okay. That's good. we got to adhere to uh, Besides that, motion to adjourn. Let's go.